Hello everybody, my name is Lachara, and this is Eco Global Survival, playing a multiplayer with my viewers. And I logged in this morning, I checked my store, and I was not sold out of steel. 148 steel bars. That's a good feeling, because every other time I've logged in for the last week or whatever, I've been sold out of steel bars, so that's good. Actually, we have glass for sale as well. And what about oil? We have some epoxy, sold out of fiberglass though. But I just did queue up 100 glass. So I should be able to make a bunch of fiberglass. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to queue up some fiberglass as well. So that's good. So um, with the other advanced smelters on the server now, obviously we are finally starting to keep up with the demand. Is this my truck? Did I leave my truck out here last night? Apparently. Usually I try to park it in here. Yeah, we're finally starting to keep up with the steel. Actually, you know what? I need to go buy food. I don't have any food. Which is great so my personal projects for today mostly is going to be upgraded smelting area with the jaw crusher and the froth flotation cell if i can find one for sale i know shadow has it listed but i don't think he had any available Ooh, modern upgrade four let's buy that and i don't know he does have one nice so we will be putting that and the uh, jaw crusher in today. That'll be my main thing. Maybe we'll get started on a housing upgrade. We're definitely going to visit some people today. I said I was going to visit some people yesterday. I didn't. Where am I going? Food is the other way. <laughs> I am all over the place this morning. I am not quite awake yet. I apologize. So, today, new smelting area. We're going to visit Ro. We're going to visit Josh. We're going to check out some other people's places. Actually, you know what we're going to do right now? I'm going to go check out Goody's place. So I haven't been down there lately, and it looked like he uh, did a lot of work just looking at the map. So we're going to head down there, and we're going to see what he's got. So let's just, uh... yeah, you know what, I'll put a little cut in. I mean, it's not far, but I don't really have anything else to say right now, so I'll be back when we get to Goody's place. All right, so I'm pulling up to Goody's house there now, as you can see, a pretty clear, nice farmhouse. That was not there last time, or I think it was just started. It was a very early work in progress last time I was down here. Right, wasn't it? He had that one, which he still has, obviously. Ooh, I like the fountain, too. Fountain, the garage over here. I assume his tractor's in there. Oh, he's got a mine. Is that just the storage, I wonder? And he's got the farmhouse over here. Ooh, with a moat, apparently. <laughs> Digging a moat. No, oh, this is a good solid lumber build. Some hewn logs in there. Ooh, I like the fireplace, bookcase. Nice bedroom. Yeah, I should really work on my house today. Yeah. This is making me look bad. And feel bad. Because my house is bad compared to this. Anyway. Oh, I fell in the moat. That is Goody's house. Looking good. Uh, you know what? I don't know. Do I want to make it... Like, what do I want to make my house out of? Like, at this point, we are almost... Like, we almost have a... Uh, tier 4 materials in abundance, right? Like, I know Josh is selling Ashlar. Does he, does he, like, does he have enough in stock that I could make a full Ashlar house? I guess if I buy some... Well, he's got a lot of limestone. row selling composites yet I know I'm I'm assuming most of his composites are going into building his own house right now might be selling some oh yeah he is composite cedar composite oak composite redwood so yeah so main goal today smelting area house secondary check out some other people's stuff and that that should be uh, should be a fun episode I'm looking forward to it hope you are too if you're enjoying this video or enjoying my series in general, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Join my Discord, um, particularly if you want to uh, join us in our adventures, either here, and now we are a couple weeks in already, or future eco servers, which will definitely be happening. Join my Discord. All the information you need uh, to join us there. So Tupel looked like he finished his house somewhat compared to the last time we were down here. Looking good. Yeah, I like, I like the stone and wood mixed together here. 
Oh yeah, what's this? Why is that so much lighter? I like that. Little, little bathroom here. Nice. Little bedroom. Looking good. Looking good. How do I get out of here? I'm trapped. All right. Time to buy some food and get to work. All right. So it's just down at Rose Place. Upgrading some modern upgrade two, some modern upgrade threes. And all oh, this is cool little display he has for um, composite lumber. I'm just gonna fly up, get a good look at this. So we got cedar, redwood, palm and birch, seba, seba. I don't know how you say that. Joshua, spruce, saguaro, fir, and oak. So let me know in the comments which which would be good for a uh, for my house. What do you? What's everybody think? What would be best? So I guess I'm not doing my house this episode. <laughs> if I'm going to be waiting for feedback, eh, I can get started maybe. Maybe put, start putting some glass in. Obviously, it'd be mixed with glass. Maybe some, maybe some ashlar for accents as well. But Ro said he needs rivets. So let's go make some rivets. Oh, I am. I blew into a wall. <laughs> there we go. So let's go make some rivets for Row here. All right, so it is time for the new smelting setup. I already made some space. I pulled up the, uh, whatever the machine was that was here. I forget, screening machine. Do we have room for the throttle rotation cell here is the question. All right, where are the inputs, outputs? Input is there. The output is the exact opposite side. Um... There, look at that. I didn't even, didn't even have to put a pipe in. Now, the output, though, I'm going to have to run a pipe all the way around to hook up with that. That's fine. So I'm going to have to do a little digging. And, uh, okay, so is this done, everything that it's doing? Yes. So let's uh, cancel all these projects. Boom. And you pull the module out. And then pick it up. All right, and then let's grab our jaw crusher, which I think it's just faster. It's the same, basically the same as the machine we just pulled up. It's just faster. It's no more efficient resource-wise, but it's faster, which will be nice. I think we get space for it here, right? Yep. Do we have enough power? Oh, yeah, it only uses 350. Got all kinds. Actually, I'm connected to some other people's power grids. I don't know if I mentioned this already. Encrypted Shadow ran some power poles. There's one there, and then there's one up on the hill by me. Yeah, you can see it by the wind turbines up there. So we got a pretty decent little power grid here. I'm contributing a thousand. And I don't think I'm using a thousand, so feel good about that. Alright, so yeah, so we need modern upgrades in this. The, the equipment we just had used advanced upgrade modules. I think I can make modern upgrades here yet. Yeah. So I can do this, but wait, can I actually will this work? I don't have Does this not have an output? An actual output? I I mean there's an output pipe. Do you not need to actually hook it up? Maybe you don't. No, I mean, you know, yeah, it's outputting sewage. <laughs> so we do need to get a... All right, so I'll do that. I'm going to... I'll just have to mine around here. Or I guess just mine right through there. Like right there and then right there. Yeah, so I'll do that off cam. I will be back shortly when that is done. All right, so I got the uh, throttle flotation cell in and working currently making a couple modern mining modern upgrades right now one for itself one for this thing so we just take a look here's the sewage pipe comes around goes through the wall and connects to the sewage there and again our input just happened to work perfectly just got lucky there um, I did learn something though I tried to use copper pipes for this and uh, copper pipes will not join up with iron pipes like when I got here it just the, the, this the joint that you see there just didn't happen so just noted, uh, like copper pipes work the same as iron pipes, but you can't combine them. Like 
you need to pick one or the other if you're, you know, for your thing. So anyway, we got that. I think we still need this, right? Because this thing doesn't make sand, right? Yeah, so we still need our rocker box. We got this. Yeah, because we can just come in. Boom. It's accessible enough. Yeah, that no, looks good. All right. Perfect. New smelting area completed. Check that off the old list. And I was going to start in the house, but like I said, I want to wait and um, get, get everybody's feedback. Is there a gap there? That still counts as my house though, right? Even though there's a gap here. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Give me your feedback on the composites that I was showing off early in the video. Which one do you want me to make my house out of? And I know it's encrypted. It's try, kind of making his uh, workshop look funky here. I like that. I don't know what it is. Is that opposite something or is that Ashlar? Can I fly up there and see? If I get my hammer out. Ashlar Shale. Yeah, okay. That looks good though. I like that. Oh, oh! Fly, you fly really fast. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to control. Anyway, so I'll be back. We're going to take a look at some of the cool things people are building. Should be good. I'm just on my way out to the uh, old oil platform. Got a bunch of barrels. Going to sell some crushed slag in the way. And uh, street lights. Got to say, I like the street lights. They had way more light than I thought they would. Do these suck up electricity? I guess I can thank Encrypted Shadow for putting these down. Let's see. Uh, I, I mean, I'm assuming we got enough power on our grid. Oh, probably blocking the Emeraldinator's way here. You go, my man. So that's pretty cool, though. Oh, is he selling me the copper ore? I think so. Um, yeah, so streetlights. <laughs> Is not something I've ever seen in Eco before, but I like them. I like them a lot. I like them a lot. All right, so I'm just uh, actually, I might as well give this update while I'm recording. I've started to widen my uh, mine shaft here because I'm going to be buying a skid steer soon, and I don't want to try to get a skid steer down a narrow little mine shaft because I am going to need to bring it down here to mine uh, limestone. This will be where I take it for limestone, obviously, right? Because, you know, limestone everywhere for days down here. So we'll work on that. We'll get some nice ramps down here. And then we'll also widen the mine shaft down there. And maybe upgrade all these to at least asphalt. Or at least asphalt down the middle. Maybe stone on the outside. Get rid of the dirt ramps somewhere. That's a good project for me the next day or two. So again, we'll be work I'll be working on my house sometime in the next day or two. But I, I want uh, I want people's feedback on what material to use. Please and thank you. So I'm gonna uh, run out to the oil field. We'll come back and uh, we'll take a look at some people's houses, what they've been up to. All right. So I came down to Rose Place. He sold me a Smith apron. So now I look like a real a real live smelter. Let me get my. There we go. Now I look like a. What's going on with my feet? I'm doing calf raises there. One, two, three. Ooh, calves are burning already. All right, anyway. <laughs> Enough of that foolishness. This is Rose House. It's big. It's not done yet, but we're going to take a quick rip through. So we got the entryway, I guess. We have a work in progress room. <laughs> We have, actually upstairs is mostly work in progress, except for this plant room, the greenhouse, I guess. So let's go to the part that's finished, <laughs> which is pretty much the rest of the house. We have the bedroom. We have the library, or the study. Study, library, whatever. Nice little sitting room here. And we got out here a little balcony, another balcony over there. You can see Rose Wind Farm off in the distance there. A couple more trophies on the wall. Up on the roof. The roof is a work in progress, so we'll kind of skip that. We already were over on the other side of it. Um, another little trophy room. Oh, how do we get up on the roof again? <laughs> um, okay, we got the kitchen. Nice. The bathroom in here somewhere. Where? 
Where I tell you, alright, you gotta get down. How do you get down? Study. You're here? Oh, another bedroom. Two bedrooms. Alright, where is. You know, I know I was downstairs earlier. I just forget where the stairs are. Did he close the stairs off on me? Where are the stairs? Right here, here, there. Ooh, I sneezed there. Ooh, sorry about that. Alright, so we got another little study. We got a dining room type area. We have, oh, looks like a bathroom. We got a bedroom here. We got, here's the basement, which I don't know what exactly this is, but it's cool. It's bringing in water, be an aqueduct here. The rest of the basement is work in progress. We won't show that off. This is a pretty cool house, and I think it's meant to get you lost. And obviously it succeeded because I got lost. Is this the same bathroom? Oh, there he is. He's like, oh, look at Lutz being lost. Oh, we got another another kitchen. So you definitely need two kitchens. This room, got quite a view out here. Whose house is that? Is that the, the new guy there? I think. Forget his name. I apologize. Cosmic Viking. Cosmic Viking's house there. You can see he's got some... Who's growing crops back there? Is that real growing crops? I don't know. Anyway. Were we in these rooms yet? Another bedroom? Alright, I gotta find my way out of here. <laughs> That's the real trick. Alright, this is Rose House. Looking good, Ro. Good job. As always, I'll be back. Alright, so I'm just over at Josh's house. He just gave me the whole big tour of his house. So if you come up, you know, you see, oh, okay, so he's got the store for Josh credits from back when we didn't have loonies. He's got his loonie store. Cool, you know. He's got the aqueduct, which is cool. Um, But there's a lot more to Josh's house than meets the eye. And I'm just going to dive into it, literally, because... Let's start by diving into this water. He's got underground water wheels, which work. He said they, they all used to give him 400 power. Now only one does because, I don't know, it's wonky. That same similar thing happened to me. My water wheel just stopped working one day. But underground water wheels, uh, just the whole use of this uh, aqueduct just in general is pretty cool, honestly, to get his water. Because, I mean, not that he was that far from the river, but, you know, you want to do the aqueduct, and I can see why it works. So that's part of <laughs> the more than meets the eye nature of Josh's place. You know, he's got a little kitchen with some furniture jammed in. He's got his kiln, a little workshop. He's got some floating storage. Oh, and hey, look, what's down here? Oh, another room. Here's his bathroom. Oh, wait, some storage. Oh, wait, it still goes down. What's down here? Oh, a giant stockpile. Oh, and we fell further. There's a giant stockpile, large lumber stockpile. And I think he gave me access. I want to show how impressive it is, how many things are, can reach this stockpile. This is how much storage the guy has. This is insane. Yeah, if you need brick or mortar, come see Josh. <laughs> That's insane. So let's keep going down and, oh, look, another room. Here's his bedroom. Now let's go down even further. Now, now it gets a little rough, right? It's, but more storage. Come down. More storage. Oh, and hey, look. More storage. Oh, oh. More storage. Iron, for some reason. I mean, this isn't even... I guess the desert's right there. It's close to the desert, but... I'm kind of surprised there's iron here, honestly, because it's not really the desert. Then it turns into granite, and oh, look at that. Bedrock. Look at that. Bedrock, folks. Josh has reached bedrock. Oh, and I missed, there's, at some point, there's he has a limestone mine with a skid steer in it. How did I miss that? <laughs> um, Where is that? I, I saw it on the tour. Okay, so it's obviously around here somewhere. Most likely, because this is where there's limestone. Hmm. Up here? Yeah, here it is. Here's his limestone mine with his skid steer. Yeah. So yeah, Josh's base is much more than meets the eye. I mean, it might not be, you know, pretty 
like some of the other places, but it's it wins a lot of points for functionality in my book. It's yeah, it's the most functional basis. And I hate ladders, so I'm gonna slash fly out of here. <laughs> but uh, that's you know tour of a couple of places that we haven't really toured. Well, we haven't really looked at Josh's place at all this run because I didn't realize there was that much to it. Right? It was just uh, so much of it is down below. I just want to take a quick peek at uh, Phantom's Road Guards here. I like this. He's like, I, I don't want to go off the road anymore. I'm just going to build these. That's pretty cool. Phantom's House, work in progress. Probably the biggest workshop I've ever seen. Play an eco. Like, like, this machine is huge. This machine is huge. These machines are huge. Look how much space he still has in here. This is insane. Anyway, so that's the tour. So I'm going to go couple more little projects then we'll probably call it a night i think and slash fly all right so i just made a trip out to my oil field got that all queued up for the evening got uh got some steel queued up here got some glass being made some steel pipes maybe i need steel pipes it'll be my first time selling steel pipes in a little bit well of course by the time you watch that video they might not be there anymore um, one thing I did here is I extended some roads. The road ended like right about here, or the asphalt part of the road ended right about here before. Or actually, no, it was like all the way up here, wasn't it? Maybe. Anyway, at any rate, asphalt roads go all the way to my place now. And actually, they go by my place. I will have to pave my driveway at some point, finish paving this, probably turn the, the uh, shoulder from dirt into stone at some point. But that is a problem for future Luchara. I didn't feel like getting didn't accomplish a whole lot today. I guess I got the new smelting area going today. That's a big thing. So I'm going to start my house soon. But again, I want feedback on what material to use. Um, I think I'm going to buy skid steer soon as well. So that'll probably be the next couple episodes. It'll be skid steer action, house action, do some more roads, widen the old mine shafts for preparation for the skid steer, you know, more tailing storage, all that good stuff tour some other places we haven't been out to see this monstrosity in a while we should probably go check that out soon um so we did josh today we did rose place today we've been out to goodies recently you know we'll have to check out some other places soon but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video that's the most important thing is enjoying the video hi mort hit that like button if you did subscribe if you haven't already Join my Discord if you want to come check out this server or if you want to be ready to go the next time we do an eco server. My Discord is definitely the place to be or to just talk games in general. It's the place to be. we got a pretty good group there, I'll be honest. I haven't really had to, to prune out undesirables. <laughs> it's a good group, which is nice. Speaking of which, be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.